And speaking of the New Year, the Nampa Rec Center is preparing for a busy New Year's Eve. They're hosting another lock-in for kids between the ages of 6 and 12, starting Sunday night and going until Monday morning. And News Channel 7's Andrew Bartling talked with the event organizer. Andrew, it's good timing for parents. Yeah, regardless of plans to go out on New Year's Eve or stay in, the Rec Center knows their lock-in dates are popular for a reason. They've done it for years and are fully prepared to create a fun, safe environment for the kids and also parents can go out and do the same. The Nampa Rec Center hosts any number of kids any given day. Even if the only time you have here is two and a half hours after school, we try to make it the best two and a half hours. A reputation that's built a decades long tradition. It's been fun. <laughs> Leanne Curry supervises the education program which has her playing a lot of different positions. Coming up with new ideas, new special events. But even she knows if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, on New Year's Eve, I get to be here for the lock-in. <laughs> Popularity's kept it on the annual calendar, which goes back long as some can even remember. So my oldest is 22, and he came to a lock-in when he was six. Starting at 7 p.m. Sunday night, the rec center is accepting up to 75 kids between 6 and 12 years old, lasting until Monday morning. We do a pizza party. Definitely bring a swimsuit, bring towels, bring stuff to sleep in. Hopefully you'll sleep. Which is partially the point. Three, two, one. Because parents may be planning a long New Year's Eve night of their own. Um, um, there's that. Right? The lock in is capped at 75 kids due to staffing. The center says they won't break a 13 to 1 ratio for safety reasons. You know, I hate that it has to be that way, but safety is number one. Also, the kids and maybe even mom and dad can have a fun and safe night celebrating January 1. If mom and dad want to go out, right? You know your kids are here. You're good. You don't have to worry about them until 8 a.m. the next morning. Yeah. Families do not need to be members to register and sign up. And last we heard from Leanne, they still have about 25 openings, Shira. It costs a little more than $30 for non-members. And the link to register is in this story at KTVB.com. Yeah, and it looks like there's so many activities for the kids to do. Yeah. I would have loved it if I was a kid. Right? Me too. All right. Thanks, Andrew.